Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the Asterix Recluse to see if it's viable in competitive Firefall PvP. When the latest milestone patch was released, the first battle frame to be called Overpowered was the Recluse. Even though it comes from the Biotech family, it is the anti-healer. This kit is packed with damage over time and healing reduction that can rip through a team. And because of that, your main target is going to be the other team's healer. Your toxin laced bolts will quickly destroy a dragonfly or biotech, and then your DOTs will run rampant on the rest of your enemies. Recluse's damage is insane, but it is a tough shot. The bio crossbow shoots a bolt that goes pretty fast, but you do have to lead your target a bit. It is not a hit scan like the electron. But once you get used to that, you deal a nice 450 damage with a small AoE that deals 207 damage. The alternate fire for the bio crossbow is the toxic grenade that detonates a toxic gas that grows over time, dealing around 450 damage for a direct hit, and 216 for the AoE damage. This helps secure kills and deny revives. It also reduces healing by a ton. The secondary weapon is the shotgun. This weapon deals around 80 to 250 damage for a good shot but it's hard to calculate split damage with spectator mode. So I could be off. Moving along to the recluse's abilities. The first ability is evacuate. This ability launches your character backwards, leaving behind a cloud of poison that deals 90 to 95 damage per tick. Just like the poison cloud of the biotech, it doesn't do that much damage, but it can ward off enemies either way if placed in a choke point like a doorway. Great for walling off the enemy team from chasing your team when a fight goes sour. Don't forget the obvious capability of getting you out of danger though. That is also useful to get back to a safe range in case a dreadnought or something just appears on you. The second ability for the recluse is Creeping Death. This ability is delivered via the bio crossbow, sending out a special projectile that will release a large poisonous gas when detonated. This cloud grows after impact and can cripple enemies caught within. The cloud deals 120 to 130 damage per tick and with the cripple can get a lot of damage in before the target escapes. Back when this patch first launched, this ability was much bigger and had a bug where the gas could go through walls. Devs quickly fixed the bug and decided to make the cloud a bit smaller, but still keep the damage. No one's really complaining about this, so I'm glad to hear a proper balance change was made so quickly. The third ability is the Kinetic Shot. This charged shot from your bio crossbow picks up speed as it travels, dealing more damage the further away the target is. This is definitely the hardest skill shot in the game to hit and to get used to. I honestly have no idea the range of the damage. Once I unlock the frame, I'll let you know. It's on a 25 second cooldown, so there's no reason you shouldn't at least try to use it for opening each battle. Finally, the ultimate ability is Necrosis. When your HKM is full, this ability causes your battle frame to pump out an AoE of chemicals, blinding and poisoning enemies caught in the gas. The poison deals 75 damage per tick, but the ability lasts 10 seconds, so you will get a lot of damage in if you stick to your targets. This ability is scary to use because you paint a big target on your back, so make sure you can kill everyone with it before they kill you. There were quite a few times in the Bronodon 3 where fights were thrown because the recluse used necrosis too early or in a really open area. As a big damage dealer that specializes itself on being able to stay out of range of their enemies, dying at the beginning of a battle because of a bad necrosis really hurts your team's chance of winning the engagement. I don't mean to be critical, but Necrosis is really a all or nothing ultimate that goes against the entire playstyle of the rest of the Recluse's kit. The Recluse's passive is Necrotic Poison. Dealing damage with an ability or your alternate fire causes the enemy to become poisoned, taking 27 damage per tick. The poison deals damage each second and can be reapplied by hitting the enemy with your primary fire. Well, that covers the specifics for the Recluse. After reading the numbers, you can see how it has the capability to be such a powerhouse in a match. 
Of course I see this battle frame as competitive. I think as teams get more practice, we will see even more of this frame in tournaments. It takes a lot of good communication to learn when you need to group up with your team for flanks or buffs, and when you need to stay back a bit to get good positioning for a fight that keeps you at a safe distance while you shoot your bolts of doom. Be wary of electrons and recons. They are probably your biggest threats at the moment as they will out DPS you at range. Your AoEs are a big part of your DPS, but they require better situations because no regular ability will out DPS creeping death at the moment. <sighs> this battle frame is difficult to explain everything. Probably because the battle frame itself is so hard, but if this intrigues you, feel free to try it out. But that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you learned a bit about the Asterisk Recluse and possibly feel up to the challenge. I know I've got my eye on it. If you liked the video, feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons below for future content on Firefall. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.